Hello and welcome to week six of Game On On The Record, brought to you by Homer Nine and Sons. Alongside Mike Byers, I'm Andrew Chiapese. We are here at Sarge Elbert Stadium on Friday night. This place will be packed. Central Valley hosts Beaver. It's a big game in the Beaver Valley Conference. Both teams are 2-0 and in conference play. Later in the show, we'll talk to Central Valley linebacker, running back, Danny Santilla. You know, Mike, prior to the season, we'd look at this conference and said, okay, Aliquip and Beaver Falls, they're going to be tussling for the top spot. And here we are, midway through the season. Those teams are still alive for playoff spots, but it's Beaver and Central Valley that are now in position for that top spot. And maybe, just maybe, the winner on Friday night will decide who wins the Beaver Valley. And as I look at this game, I keep looking back at Darius Wise and his fantastic performance against Keystone Oaks last week. For me, he's approaching Jordan Whitehead territory. We know he's good. We know that he's going to get the ball a lot, but it seems like nothing anyone does slows him down. And it's going to be the huge task for the Central Valley defense to try and find that answer on Friday night and see what they can do against Wise. Well, I will say this, AJ. Uh, Darius Wise had a monster night against Keystone Oaks, but the defense he faces Friday right here at, at Sarge Albers Field will be different, much different, much better. Um, Darius Wise will not score seven touchdowns Friday night. <laughs> He may have a great game. Beaver may win here. But it's going to be, I think, a very good football game here. Uh, we always talk about how well Central Valley plays defense. Um, Mark Capuano is a defensive coordinator. They always have good athletes here. They always have a good plan here. This will be Darius Wise's toughest challenge of the season, even tougher than I gain at Aliquippa. It would be interesting, too, to see how this Central Valley offense plays and trying to keep up with Darius's exploits on Friday night because this is an offense that had to replace a numerous key personnel from last year. They have a new quarterback in, using two in Curtis Latshaw and Nico Battisti. They have a new running back in Danny Santia. They have some receivers who are playing larger roles uh, because of the absence of Kurt Ryan Statler. So the Central Valley offense also has a huge challenge ahead of itself. Beavers, Beavers defense wasn't great against Keystone Oaks. They gave up a ton of points and a ton of yards but Central Valley will pose a different threat as well. Hey, Jay, you know something? Uh, since this program was formed in 2010, they've had to replace offensive stars every year. Since 2010, when this program started, Aliquippa has the most regular season wins, conference wins, playoff wins than any team in the Times coverage area. But Central Valley is second in all those categories. This is a winning program. They know how to win. They'll be ready Friday night. It should be a great football game. Beaver at Central Valley. Well, joining us now to talk about Central Valley's game against Beaver on Friday night is junior running back and linebacker Danny Santia. Danny, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Danny, uh, none of these teams are one-man teams, but Beaver has a guy in Darius Wise who has been causing amazing excitement. What's your take of what Darius has done so far this year, and how do you stop a guy like Darius Wise? You know, uh, Darius, he's a, obviously an important a uh, member of their team, you know they they give him they put the hand ball in his hands and uh, he, they let him do whatever he wants to do with it because he can make plays. Uh, we're just gonna try to contain him, do do as much as we can to contain him. You know, he's gonna make plays, but we're gonna have to limit those big plays. You guys were very successful in the Parkway Conference, but now you're playing in a conference that includes Beaver, Beaver Falls, Aliquippa. Only two or three of those teams are getting into the playoffs. What's the importance of this football game to you guys? This game, uh, this game's a, a really important to us because if we win this game, we're, we put ourselves in a good position for the rest of the season. You know, so it's a big one to win. I want to go back to the off season when you guys lost the likes of Chris Calligan, Kirk Ryan Statler, Kyle Vreen, especially on offense. And now you're the starting running back. Nico yeah. Battisti and Curtis Lashaw are getting reps at quarterback. What was going through your minds in the off season about basically stepping into those huge shoes that those guys left behind? Yeah, uh, coaches always tell us that it's the next man up. So whenever those kids leave and go off, you know, it's, we we know that it's our turn to take their fill in their shoes if, as much as we can. Danny, you got new quarterback this year. Uh, Kurt Lapps always playing early in the year. Now it's Nico Battisti. Uh, if my stats are right, he's completed 20 of 27 passes. That's 74%. Uh, what, what's your take of the way he's moving this offense as a, as a quarterback, as a thrower, but also as a runner? Yeah, he uh, adds a, a big element to our uh, offense because he, he he's a pass threat and he's a run threat. So that just adds another dynamic to it. Danny, as we take a look at this program overall, one of the hallmarks has been a good defense. And I know you've been focusing a lot on running back, but you're still playing linebacker as well. Mm -hmm. What's been the key to this defense this year and over the course of the last couple of years as you've grown up in this program? 
our strength comes from our line, our linebackers. You know, our secondary is always good, but I think that our cores are, are inside more. Danny, thanks for your time today. Congrats on a great start so far. Good luck Friday against Beaver. Thank you. Well, that does it for this edition of Game On On The Record. You can check out anything you might have missed on our Facebook page. For stories, stats, photos, videos, and more of all our high school football action, including this big game at Beaver at Central Valley, check out timesonline.com this weekend. And, of course, you can always follow us on Twitter with the account TimeScores and the hashtag TimesFB for all the latest news and updates from those of us here at timesonline.com. For Mike Byers, I'm Andrew Chiapese. Goodbye from Central Valley. We'll see you soon.